radiological fallout, people living around potential targets such as military bases and... With a hybrid solution line, Turtle Wax changed the game. But with the Hybrid Solutions Pro line, they are redefining the rules. Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. I have seen a future, and it is not garlic bread. What it is, is the new Hybrid Solutions Pro line, graphene infused flex wax. Before we get started, as always, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified of all future videos as and when we publish them. Thank you. So what is this product, guys? Two major words on the bottle. Graphene infused and flex wax. Why didn't they call it graphene wax? Well, the key thing about this product is less about the fact that graphene is in it, from my point of view anyway, and more about the, the word flex, which is there because it's supposed to be flexible. Now, the key thing about this product, guys, you can use this as a baseline sealant with a dry application. Spray on, spread, buff. You know, traditional spray wax application. Do it to a prepped, polished, degreased surface and you'll get the maximum durability out of this product. Applying it that way, make sure you leave it for 24 hours. Standard application of a spray sealant or spray wax. Great. I did another one of those big sniffs. <laughs> The next application of this product, it can be used as a spray and rinse sealant, AKA the lazy man's product, which I tend to like. Hmm, that's not a good thing. <laughs> it means I'm lazy. In the winter, I get very lazy in my car. I don't want to be outside and I love just spraying these products on. When there's no heat around, there's no sunshine, they come into their own, the spray and rinse products. They also make drying the car a hell of a lot easier. No sticky water. You wipe the panel with the towel and you get a clean, dry surface rather than that sticky film. So spray and rinse, fantastic. It can also be used as a spray and wipe or spray and rinse alloy wheel sealant. So you can spray it into your alloy wheels and it will provide a hydrophobic effect and you'll be able to dry your tires, you know, sorry, your alloys with the air a lot easier or wipe it with a towel. The next thing, this can be used as a topper. So if you want to use a thicker sealant or even a ceramic coating and you want to use this as a spray topper, you can. We talked about in the previous video, the liquid the liquid max wax is perhaps a better filling product than this water-based spray wax. It might make a better baseline sealant. So this could go on top of that, or it could go on top of a coating, or it could go on top of a traditional wax or anything, and it should still work. Of course, you'll get the maximum durability out of it, as with any protection product, if you use it on bare prepped surface. But I think it's better as a, as a topper that you use perhaps, you could use it every wash if you wanted to. In fact, you may, you may well want to. Um, but you could also use it every couple of months and just use a detail spray because this isn't a weak product, which we'll talk about later on. Um, the next thing, guys, about the flex wax, the flexible, it can be used as a glass sealant. So make sure you prep your glass properly, especially that front windscreen. You always see the arc of hydrophobic water on that arc where the windscreen wiper wipes because it's covered in like grease from the wiper blades. So I recommend if you're going to use it as a glass sealant, really prep and deep deke on that surface, prep it and perhaps also put a fresh set of wiper blades on before you go and use this product to get the most out of it as a glass sealant. On the side and rear windows, it doesn't matter so much. You know, just clean your glass, put it on. So you've got a glass sealant. Why is a glass sealant useful? Glass doesn't need protecting, it doesn't need UV protection, it doesn't need that. But the hydrophobic effect can make it easier to see out the glass when it's raining. So it's a preferable thing. Um, I don't tend to use them personally, but I'm interested to see how this fares as a glass cleaner. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a good run out using that application. The final thing, guys, is you can also use it to spray on top of trim, you know, plastics or rubber. It can even go on a tire, but it's not a tire dressing. It's not gonna add shine like a slick tire shine product. It's not like that, but it can go on top of rubber. And you'll see the hydrophobic effect if you put it on top of your tires. So that's kind of it, guys. That's why it's called flexible. Is the graphene relevant? Well, it's only relevant if you want to try graphene, isn't it? Um, so turtle wax, as I've mentioned in the other video, they're not just using graphene oxide. They, are, they have got a proprietary process that they put graphene through to create another form of it. And I don't know much more about it than that, other than it's bespoke to them and it's patented. 
um, and it's in this product. Now, the downside is that the product is more expensive because of that component. Graphene is expensive, very, very expensive, unfortunately. So this product is gonna retail in the UK for around about 30 pounds. And some people are gonna look at that price and be put off. The thing to consider is what this product is replacing. If you take a spray and rinse product on the shelf, and if I pan the camera, let's do it, just so I'm not making it up as I go along. If I pan the camera over here, uh, I have a serious addiction to detailing products. This product could potentially replace the plethora of LSP products that I've got on my shelf. I have a quick detailer there, okay? I have another quick detailer here. I have another quick detailer here. I have a descaler, it can't, it can't replace that. Uh, I have a spray and rinse concentrate. I have two other spray and rinse products, wet coat and turtle wax dry, sh dry and shine. I have a, a, a liquid wax, you know, on the shelf as well. Well, in theory, this could replace everything, all of that apart from the descaler. So, um, yeah, that's the thing to consider in your head. But the other thing to consider as well is turtle wax have already ticked the box on cheap products. Very cheap products. You've got the green line, you know, which is all affordable and they've got spray and rinse products in there. So it's up to you really. They're trying to, I think, plug a gap because they've done cheap, haven't they? They've done a high value. Um, and now they're doing kind of premium and, and versatile. So that is what the flex wax is all about. So I'm applying this product live, guys. I'm gonna tackle a square like that with one squirt, so just, this cloth has now got wet with product from, I've been using it as the applicator cloth. So all I'm doing is just forming a film with a liquid. And that film will have a little haze to it. You just, first of all, form the film all the way up to the edge of the panel, as with any product. Then take the second cloth, just give it a second, Give it a second to just for the water to come out and it bond to the panel, do its thing, and then give it a buff. Well, this is black paintwork, which kind of tends to show if you're going to get any streaking issues, and it's buffing up to a gloss nicely. And that is it. So, guys, I'm trying to show you buffing this film, which is going to be the key thing. You can see the hazy film on it. Now I've got my clean cloth, and look, just buff over it. And the product goes. It's really nice to buff. Just has a dry feel to it. The only tip I would give you is to keep flipping, changing sides on your secondary buff cloth. And after you've used all eight sides, get a new cloth. Because this is gonna pick up product. And once it starts getting not even saturated, but once you get a lot of product on here, you're gonna start use, this is gonna become an applicator as well. So that's the only tip, but very easy to buff. Final thoughts, guys. If I could have one product of the three, what would it be? At the start of the day, I would have put money on it being the one and done compound, because I've got good results with it. It does, it's a tool, as I said in the other video, it does what I want it to do. It delivers me perfected paintwork, and it's a single product, which is fantastic. Of the three though, I think I would go with the Flex Wax. Why? Because we all tend to use these spray products more every day. You know, you, this one and done, you might use once a year. You know, depending on the condition of your paint. This you'll use it all of the time. Um, you'll be grabbing it every single time you wash your car because you can do so many different things with it. You can top up protection on your glass. You can protect your alloys. You can spray it over your trim. The other thing that's really important with the spray wax, guys, it's gotta go on nice and it's gotta feel good when you're buffing it back. The key to the product, as I've said, or may have said, I haven't done the edit yet. <laughs> you lay out the film and you use the secondary cloth. And when you buff that film with the secondary cloth, it picks up really, really nicely. And underneath the film is glossy paintwork and slickness. Yes, it's hydrophobic. That's great. Some of you are going to love that. Um, that's not as important to me. It's how it is to use. Um, so the Flex Wax is the pick of the bunch. Still got it. <laughs> Hold the 
holding on to what I knew, but the moment's gone. Where was I when you?